Thank you for being here. My name is Mike Fromm, and I'm the chair of Alvernia's Board of Trustees. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to today's historic announcement. This is at least the fourth time I've used the word historic to describe the College Town Initiative and this impressive facility. However, when looking at both the perceived and measurable impact of its presence in downtown Reading and its continued evolution, there are a few other words that are more fitting. As a Reading native and a local business owner, it's brought me great joy to be a part of this transformational movement for our community. As I look around and see familiar faces, I'm reminded of just how much Alvernia's emergence as a regional leader in higher education has been driven by the Berks County community. While so many institutions have remained insular, what makes Alvernia so special is the shared commitment we've all made to continuing to build this important legacy. And like all of you, I see this work as a privilege, not an obligation. We're fortunate to have opportunities like today to celebrate and publicly express our admiration for leaders who are exemplars of the ideals that we embrace. They've set the standard, and now Alvernia's Board of Trustees proudly walks in their footsteps. As is customary at all Alvernia gatherings, we will begin this event with a mission moment delivered by Sister Danielle Kubelski, Alvernia class of 1964, followed by an announcement from Alvernia president John R. Loya. Sister Daniil. Thank you, Michael. In this very place, there's quite enough light to brighten our day. In this very place, there's quite enough joy for all of us. In this very place, there's quite enough wisdom to answer age-old questions. In this very place, there are people who give freely so others may learn. In this very place, there's quite enough giving to help us on our way. In this very place, there's quite enough goodness and sharing to open our eyes to the daily miracle of life. In this very place, there's quite enough faith to give life a purpose. In this very place, there's quite enough hope to chase away the doubt. In this very place, there's quite enough strength to help the weary. In this very place, there's quite enough faith to warm us with his abiding presence. In this very place, there's quite enough power to chase away the gloom, for the divine presence is in this very place. Well, as they used to say on Car Talk, Click and Clack would say, it's historic and folkloric. And that is certainly where we are today. I'd like to take a minute for some special thanks to our leadership team, staff, faculty, and partners that have made College Town a reality. Also, my thanks for all of you who join us here today. As many of you know, my favorite way to get things started is always a quote. Today's quote is from one of my favorites, Winston Churchill. We make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. That totally sums up what we're here to announce today. As you've heard me say before, the heart of College Town is not a building or a program or even economic redevelopment. It is partnerships. Partnerships in this initiative have come in many shapes and sizes, from community-based action groups to experiential learning opportunities for our students with local businesses, to financial support from our community. 
The partnership we celebrate today started with a question over lunch from Tom Williams. Where are you, Tom? There he is. Who asked me, do you do anything with engineering? My answer, heck yes. And ends today as we gather to recognize the largest gift in the university's history. The gift will fund the completion of our engineering school and will be invested right here in downtown Reading on Penn Street. The gift ensures that there will be a phase two expansion in engineering and health sciences that will happen right here at 401 Penn Street. Let me be the first to thank John Post and his family for that gift. John is the founder and president of Post Precision Casting based in Strauss Town, which he started in 1964, just four years after he graduated from St. Joe's. John shares in AU's entrepreneurial spirit. I'm gonna wait for that truck. The celebration continues. He has also held positions in directorships with the Bank of Pennsylvania, Dolphin Deposit Bank and Trust, and Investors Trust Company. As a longtime supporter of Catholic education, John has been recognized as Central Catholic's most distinguished alum and is a St. Joe's Shield of Loyola recipient. At this time, I would like to welcome John to the podium to share a few remarks. Welcome, John. President Lilac, members of the Board of Trustees, distinguished public officials, members of the faculty, and friends. This is a great day for Alvernia University and for the city of Reading. I am proud to be a part of the mission of this university and it, its promises it, it holds for our city. Over the years, I and my family have taken particular interest in supporting educational institutions at every level. This building and its facilities and students are worthy of that support. The fact that this building will be the home of the School of Engineering is of special interest to me. My father, Dr. Carl Post, earned his PhD in metallurgy at Penn State and was a longtime executive of the Carpenter Steel Company here in Reading. In my own business, post-precision castings, the need for engineering skills and talent is always present. I look forward to seeing Reading College Town and the School of Engineering prosper in the years to come. And I thank you all for being here to join the celebration. Thank you. Thank you, thank you John. Through John and Mary Ann's generosity, we will be able to train application-ready engineers who will be actively engaged in our community. Engineers who will be able to tackle the region's greatest challenges and support local industry, just as John and his father Carl did for many years. On John's first visit to College Town, John mentioned to me that his father always wanted him to be an engineer and how this gift helped fulfill that wish. I'm sure Carl is looking down and is very proud of you today, John. 
This gift also allows us to think beyond this project and forward to the next. We will be continuing our expansion in downtown redevelopment with the acquisition of that building, the American House, which occurred just a few weeks ago. Thank you. You apparently need more than one building if it's going to be a town. With the continued help of our partners, we plan to invest over $50 million on Penn Street in downtown Reading. So for this immense generosity, and as importantly, John and Mary Ann's belief in our college town vision and the city of Reading, I am happy to introduce to you for the first time the John R. Post Center at Reading College Town and the John R. Post School of Engineering. I'm now going to ask you to focus on the banners, and as soon as I get to the other side, let them rip. And now for the School of Engineering. Now I'd like to introduce Glennis Fitzgerald, our Senior Vice President and Provost, who will talk about the impact on engineering and engineering students. It's life in the city, and we're happy to be here. Since we opened the building last August, the John R. Post Center at Reading College Town has become a hub for education, collaboration, and important conversations, and has been a beacon for positive community energy. This gift will provide resources for operations, equipment, and the facility's construction of the phase two expansion of our engineering programs, which will add biomedical, chemical, civil and environmental engineering. The founding of the John R. Post School of Engineering was initiated through the power of College Town. The market demands for new Bachelor of Science degrees in electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, and industrial engineering programs were identified through collaboration with our engineering advisory board. A group of local community members, leaders, and manufacturers. 
This board identified regional workforce gaps for engineering talent and innovation and now provides our students with invaluable, comprehensive, experiential learning opportunities. We are eager to welcome our second class of engineering students this fall. The post-transformational gift ensures this building will continue to be a resource for our community for generations to come and that students and faculty members will have access to the latest engineering technologies and be a catalyst for change in Reading, Berks County, and the greater southeastern Pennsylvania region. So on behalf of Alvernia faculty, staff, and students, I thank you. I'd now like to welcome Mike Fromm back to the podium. Thank you, Dr. Fitzgerald. Um, before we close, I would like to recognize and thank the mayor of the city of Reading, Eddie Moran, who's to my right, um, and city council of Reading for their invaluable support of College Town and the initiatives that Alvernia uh, has undertaken in this community. And as John pointed out, this is all about partnership. None of this could have been accomplished without the political will and the confidence that uh, Eddie and his staff had in Alvernia. So we thank you for that very much, Mr. Mayor. And we thank you for attending today's truly momentous ceremony. I would like to personally thank John Post and the Post family for its transformational gift and all they've done for Alvernia and for the larger Berks County community. We would now like to welcome everyone inside the John R. Post Center at Reading College Town that has a ring to it for some refreshments and to receive a small gift to commemorate this historic day in Alvernia history. Thank you and have a great day. <laughs>